What do you make of the rising space activities that we're seeing right now? Uh, so, so I think there has been a tremendous change uh, due to the government support uh, from past few months. Uh, so since the privatization has uh, helped a lot of startups boom right now in India, there is investors' interest in terms of funding these space startups and take bets into it. Uh, your startup is trying to address the issue of space debris. I mean, give us a sense of how big th this sector is and how, how, how much potential is there. Okay, so so al always I draw a, a similarity between the aviation sector and the space sector. So in the aviation sector, in the early days of aviation sector, so we had air traffic management and, and that helped the aviation industry to grow when there was a boom in the air traffic. And similar solution is required in the space industry right now because we have seen a lot of commercial satellites going up there in the space and there is a lot of constellation. And now there is the era of human space flight as well. So I think uh, space traffic management will be uh, a necessity for the uh, future of the space industry. And what we are developing at Digantra uh, is a solution for space traffic management and space situational awareness so that we provide safe flight, uh, safe path to the spacecraft to fly in the orbit. Uh, and anyway, tell us a little bit about how you, what you're going to be doing here. Uh, we mentioned uh, a nano satellite. What is that and what does it do? Okay, so 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 I'll just give you a background here, right? So uh, currently, all these space objects are tracked by the ground-based radars or telescopes. And what we are trying to do with Digantra is that uh, we are building a space-based sensor, basically to complement the current infrastructure. Uh, so what we are doing with the nano satellite is that we have a payload called in orbit space monitor, which helps us to track resident space objects or the space debris in space. Uh, so that we are much more accurate in terms of providing solution rather than the ground-based systems, because ground-based systems undergo a lot of limitation. One of the major limitation is atmosphere. Yeah, and you know, you, we talk, a lot of people have been talking about space junk uh, for years now, and it's reaching a crisis point, according to some, some people. So what happens when you identify that, uh, that uh, space junk? What can be done about it? Is it just a case of identifying and tracking, or is it beyond that, getting rid of it, cleaning out space? Got it. The first step of, uh, uh, you know, debris mitigation per se is uh, space traffic management or understanding where an object is. So what we do is the first step of this uh, solution is to track these objects. So when we track these objects using our sensors, so, so we build a profile of these objects and create a catalog of it so that we can then provide safe trajectories for the satellites. Uh, so the next step of this process is to mitigate these objects. This is something that we'll be doing in the near future, but at this point in time, we are focused on uh, space debris tracking and monitoring, not just space debris, but also satellites so that we can uh, then provide uh, safe path to these satellites to operate. Anirudh, India has said that it wants to open up the space sector to private players. How do you see this playing out? Uh, so I think uh, from past few months, right, so, so there has been a lot of changes that have happened in India. So in terms of reforms, so uh, uh, one of the important things for an ecosystem to grow is a transparent policy framework. So that is something India is trying to build right now. So because of which I think there are a lot of startups in India, uh, a lot of potential in India for space startups to grow. Uh, so there are investor interest right now coming in us uh, that they fund these space startups to grow uh, when the government is supporting. So I think government policies play an important role uh, in the growth of ecosystem itself. Okay, so how closely are you working with the uh, Indian Space uh, uh, Organization, uh, ISRO there, and you know, what are you doing with them? And can you uh, contribute to their first manned uh, project uh, at the moment that you're working on? Uh, so coming to the, uh, you know, collaboration that we have with ISRO. So ISRO, um, you know, we are, uh, uh, we are based out of the Indian Institute of Science, uh, Bangalore. So uh, we closely work with ISRO on uh, a project uh, right now called uh, Outer Space Monitoring through a program called Arizanic. So we recently uh, got a grant of 50 lakh rupees in NR, around 65,000 US dollars, uh, to build a prototype of uh, the space debris monitor that I was talking about. Uh, so currently, uh, we are building this prototype here in India itself so that we then contribute uh, in all of these space missions. One of the missions that we are looking to cooperate as human spaceflight mission, we are building two technologies here. One is 
the in-orbit space debris monitor, which helps in the safety of the human space flight. And the second is a, a, a proton dosimeter. Basically, this helps us to track radiations in space, which can cause hazards to uh, human space flight.